On a hot July 30th, 1973, just before 1 p.m., a piercing scream shattered the still air of East Liverpool, Ohio. The woman bursting out of a furniture business at 759 Dresden Avenue. The scene would shake even the most hardened of detectives. The bodies of three people, two adults and a child lay on the floor covered in blood. 75-year-old Earl Tweed, 22-year-old Linda Morris, who was four months pregnant, and her four-year-old daughter, Angela Morris. By the time paramedics arrived, little Angela was barely clinging to life. She was taken to a local hospital where she succumbed to her injuries. They had all been stabbed and beaten with a claw hammer. At the time, Earl ran his furniture store business. He owned several rental properties in and around the area of East Liverpool. His store would also serve as his office. According to Linda's husband, Lou Morris, who was working nearby at a construction site, has said his wife has stopped by to see about renting a house from Tweed. The motive seems to be robbery, one detective said, and during the robbery, Linda happened with her daughter to walk in on it. The furniture store has long been closed and boarded up, but every rookie officer that comes aboard the East Liverpool, Ohio Police Department learns about this unsolved quadruple murder. Here's the scene of the crime, 731 Dresden Avenue in East Liverpool, Ohio. This is where the triple homicide happened. Okay, so you were telling me this story. Uh, this was uh, Earl's used furniture store. Yes, and it was a used furniture store, and Mr. Tweed had rental properties that people would come here and get apartments. Right, so if you wanted an apartment or he had a house for rent, you would come to his furniture store. He didn't have a yeah, rental he had office. An office in the back of it. Okay, and this murder happened uh, almost 50 years ago. Has there any, ever been any uh, suspects in this? Never, never any suspects. There was uh, one little boy that ran into what they believe was a killer, gave him a description, but it never matched up to anybody. And it's just one of those uh, crimes that time has uh, kind of forgotten in this area. And that was a very, very big uh, story back then in this town. I mean, this is a smaller town. You're not going to have many triple murders. And you, as you were telling me, you said that whoever it is, the guy that committed this crime, he ran over here? Yep. He ran into a little boy here. And Asked him where he lived. Little kid was freaked out. He twisted, ran away. The guy ran through this lot. He took a left down over a hill out back, ran down an alley. Uh, there was a set of steps about a quarter mile south of here that they found uh, Mr. Tweed's wallet at the top of the stairs. And then they found the claw hammer that he beat the three people inside to death with. Did they get any fingerprints off of the murder weapon? I've never seen anything like that, but around here, Podunk, police departments that, you know, you, they're, they're you not, learn more CSI from watching Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, did, did the boy that ran into the murderer, did he give a description to the cops? Yeah, he gave him a suspect uh, well, description, what, but it never, never panned what, out. What, 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 did he say what race he was? It's what he a white dude. I think he had red hair from you know what the kids said but it never led to anything this did is, did they think it was a robbery they from what i've read on the, the story is mr tweed was known to carry a lot of money in his wallet and like i said his wallet was found down these steps about a quarter mile south of here and this business has not been open since that murder or no no it closed up then and there's a little uh, local pottery uses it for a warehouse now, so it's all been boarded off and cleared out. This is the grave of one of the murder victims, Earl Tweed, buried alongside his wife, Marie. Those who have loved will meet again. And a couple miles down the road, we're at the Spring Grove Cemetery, and uh, this is the grave of Linda Marie, 
Morris with her daughter Angela Lynn, and that would be her husband. You said that they were newlyweds uh, when she was murdered, huh? Yes, yeah, they were newlyweds. They just moved to town. They weren't. They didn't even have an apartment here. She was looking for that apartment when she. Was and he murdered. and he got remarried and had other kids, but yeah, he, he still got... chose to be buried next to his first wife. Yeah. And she was four months pregnant, so you can see right here. He actually went on to be a police officer himself. Just actually scarred him enough to give me that. Wow. I just find it so odd how a, a, a triple murder in broad daylight. It was Thursday at one in the afternoon that they were murdered on a busy street and yeah, nothing. The guy disappeared. It's almost like the police didn't care. Not saying they didn't care, but it was almost like like maybe they knew who did it, but they just, it's unreal. Well, rest in peace to Linda, Angela, and Earl, and, and Louie right here.